Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about another Prada fragrance. This is also part of the Olfactories collection and I'm very excited to share it with you. So stick around. And today's fragrance is going to be Double Dare. So this fragrance is very, very cool. I think so, at least. It's it's traditional to Prada, uh, at least testing it out and, you know, wearing it around. Um, you know, I also like to show the fragrance to other people to see what their opinions are and so on and so forth with the fragrance. This one has gotten some pretty good reviews. Uh, as I said, it is a very Prada scent. The scent itself is a powdery, irisy type of fragrance, which is very much a Prada thing. Uh, you know, Infusion de Iris and a lot of their other fragrances like Loam uh, and even their Luna Rosa fragrances are iris intensive fragrances. So they do tend to come off, like I said, that powdery type of clean type of scent. And this one doesn't fall far from the tree. It's definitely one of those that I think is traditionally brought up, but it is very nice. Is it worth $300 for the Olfactories collection? It's up to you at that point. So this fragrance was launched in 2015. It was part of the original line of the Olfactory lines. Uh, this line of fragrances, by the way, is a little bit difficult to find. You cannot usually go into your typical Macy's or Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom to find it. It is very mysterious. It is available on Prada's website, but they're very, very, you know, condensed their selection. It's not all of them that were launched at the same time. I found mine on FragranceNet. Uh, they are an authentic buyer or seller, I'm sorry. Uh, so it is an authentic fragrance. Um, and I did get this guy for today's review specifically. So. So like I said, it does have that powdery type of feeling to it. The top notes are going to be saffron and cardamom. Uh, so it is going to, you know, have that like, saffron tends to come off, it's, it's a spice, uh, but it tends to come off a little bit kind of sweet. Um, to me, kind of, it can come off either very sweet or it can come spicy or in between. This one's right in in between. It's not a sweet fragrance by any means, but it has a sweetness to it. But it is a very fresh fragrance. Uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think out of a lot of the fragrances that I've reviewed, reviewed recently, this one is one that I would definitely go for and um, probably wear this on a daily basis. I think it's that good. Um, it, it, it is not one that falls either in a woman's spectrum or in the men's spectrum. This is a true unisex fragrance, so it runs right in the middle. Um, it is also a fragrance that is very versatile. You can either wear it, you know, dressed up, dressed down, or you can also wear it spring and summer, which is what I like about it a lot. Uh, longevity on this one is, is it's all right. It's not the best, but it's not... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's not one of those that you would probably smell on yourself within like three hours, but people will smell it on you when they give you a hug or they come near you. You'll get compliments on it, but it's not one that you smell on yourself. And a lot of people, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you shouldn't be smelling it if you smell it, you've sprayed too much. But you know, to some people like me, you wear the fragrance for yourself and not, not necessarily for other people's you know, pleasure, because I'm paying for it, I want the pleasure of smelling myself, and that's why I bought it, so, uh, like I said, it does become a very s soft, skin scenty type of fragrance, uh, for yourself, and then for everyone else, they can, you know, you leave that beautiful trail behind you, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, the thing about this fragrance is, it's a little hard to say if I think it's justified to be a $300 fragrance. $300 does give you 100 mils or 3.3 ounces. Uh, it is pretty pricey if you ask me, but you know, that's besides the point. It is a Prada, you know, fragrance. So they're not the cheapest fragrance, but it is part of their Lux collection. So it is gonna be a little bit more expensive. Now, I do think that it's, to me at least, worth the price. It is an iris fragrance. I do tend to love iris fragrances. I love powdery fragrances. Um, and this one does deliver that but it keeps that freshness there. And it also has a nice contrast because you're gonna get suede as well as jasmine as your heart notes, which is going to give you that little floral touch to it. 
but that suede really just balances out. I don't know what, what it is about me, but me and suede and fragrances just go hand in hand. I love suede and fragrances. It tends to be very sexy for me, but it also makes the fragrance very, I don't know, it gives it that little roughness to it, but without being too much, because whenever you add leather, it tends to go really dark, really quick. The base notes are going to be Amber Grease, Vanilla, and Vetiver. So that Vetiver gives it that greenness. The vanilla is not very prominent in here, but it does come in there and it does make a little bit of a, you know, entrance and just kind of cleans it all up. It makes those traditional, you know, rough notes and green notes and powdery notes and then just adds that waft of, you know, sophistication to it, which it's just... It's a masterpiece. So when I was watching and looking at the ratings itself, it, the ratings were not the best and the most favorable for this fragrance compared to the other ones in this collection. But it is one of those that I would definitely say is worth the price and worth checking out because it is one that you'll like. Um, like I said, it's one of those that either you're, if you're a woman or a male uh, or anything in between, you're gonna really like it. Um, I do definitely strongly recommend it. You know, longevity is not going to be the best, but that's to be expected with these type of powdery fragrances. The interesting thing is that it does not have iris as a note. Uh, you do smell iris in here though, so I don't know if that's something that they're doing to just keep the DNA of the house in there without, you know, adding it to the list, but it does have that Prada DNA, which is iris, iris, iris. Um, I am enjoying this fragrance line a little bit more. I do think it's very nice, it's very clean, and I am definitely very excited to see what else they come out with. Uh, I have, I don't know if they have any new launches. I actually should look into that, and if they do have any new launches, I would definitely try to get my hands on it, and I will definitely try to review it for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so much for your support. And, you know, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any other fragrances that you guys would be interested in reviewing. Thanks for watching.